Now, for the first time in history, a rocket with no astronauts, only space tourists, is due to be launched in less than three hours. The SpaceX craft, as you can see, uh, will lift off from Cape Canaveral in Florida. These are live images from there. Not surprisingly, perhaps, one of the four on board is a billionaire, but Jared Isaac and his three companions will go higher into space and for longer than Sir Richard Branson and Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, did on their flights. Absolutely. It's not hyperbole to say this is a bold new chapter in space travel. In a few hours, this SpaceX crew will blast off from Cape Canaveral, and although they've undergone months of training, there isn't one professional astronaut among them. They are all civilians. What they're about to do will change the game entirely. A slick Netflix documentary is being released about the mission, Inspiration4, showing the moments the crew found out they'd been picked. Um, you're selected. So, you, so you're, you're going to go to space. We're all going to oh go. <laughs> as well as pushing the boundaries of space tourism, the mission will also raise millions for a U.S. children's research hospital where one of the crew recovered from cancer as a child and now works to help others. Surviving cancer made me tough, and I think it taught me a lot about going out of my comfort zone. You're going to be experiencing four and a half times your own body weight. One of the crew is a tech billionaire, Jarad Isaacman, who's bankrolling the entire trip. But unlike Jeff Bezos or Richard Branson, his space tourism adventure will be for longer and at a far higher orbit. Space experts think this could be just the beginning of a new era. And this idea of opening it up to, to more civilians that have perhaps come from a more wide variety of backgrounds really is showing this opportunity that space is slowly becoming somewhere that, you know, anyone might get the opportunity to explore. Rather like one of Elon Musk's Tesla cars, the spacecraft is equipped with a sophisticated autopilot, meaning if all goes to plan, the crew should be able to largely sit back and enjoy the view 360 miles above Earth. Dan Rivers, News at 10.